Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. In this photo today I'm going to give you a look at something a little bit older and it's from the Saga Collection 2006 and it's this guy here, Luke Skywalker in his Endo Poncho. I'm really really pleased with this figure, I'm really glad I got it and I heartily recommend it, it's a really good figure. I'm getting a decent look at that. I'll quickly run through the articulation and whatnot before I get into uh, the features of it. It's got the swivel neck, uh, swivel shoulders, uh, those horrible um, swivel elbows, but um, these seem to stay in place rather well on this figure, so I'm not complaining too much. He's also got swivel wrists, a swivel waist, swivel hips, and ball jointed knees. There's no articulation in the ankles unfortunately and um, it's by no means the best version of a Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker that we've ever seen but it's by no means the worst either as you can see it does come with the lightsaber and the blade isn't removable from the hilt which is good and the helmet is also removable and uh, it's got a decent resemblance to uh, Mark Hamill the facial sculpting and the detail is uh, pretty good and uh, the belt is removable as well at the back there and it just slots out from the front and as you can see in the holster on the belt there's also a blaster pistol and then the poncho is removable as well and as you can see underneath it's kitted out in his Jedi robes this figure was first released in the Saga collection 2004 and you've seen many incarnations, you know, you could get this guy with the uh, Battle of the Sarlacc Battle Pack from the 30th Anniversary Collection. Uh, he came out as a hologram figure. There was a lot of uh, different versions of this guy. And uh, the newest one that you can get of this figure is in the Battle of the Sarlacc Ultimate Battle Pack that comes with this skiff and also the Sarlacc Pit. Which uh, I'm interested in picking up for the Sarlacc Pit and the... Um, and the skiff, but for the figures in it, I've already got them all, so I'm not really fussed about them. Let's try and give you one more look at this figure with the poncho and everything on again. Uh, this figure is a, uh, it complements the uh, vintage OTC uh, Han Solo in his Endo trench coat, and also the new. Um, Leia and Endo gear that was released in the vintage line as well it goes really well with those two figures just trying to get the belt back on now can prove to be quite tricky sometimes especially when I'm in a rush like I am now not wanting to hold you up for too long It is probably the best version of an Endor Luke Skywalker, but there are better Luke figures out there. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do recommend this figure if you're making some sort of uh, Endor scene, but if you can grab a uh, Jedi Knight version of Luke before you get this guy, then I recommend you do so, particularly the Legacy Collection one that's just been released. That's a really good figure. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this Endor Luke Skywalker. And I'll be back with some more reviews as soon as I can. Until then, as always, keep collecting and may the force be with you.